Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel, Chucks and Chapstick. As you can probably hear already, I have been under the weather for about three or four days. I feel like flaming hot garbage. However, I just have another day and a half to get this box back, so I needed to go ahead and uh, get this filmed, this an opening filmed for you guys, and uh, you know, everything unpacked and tried on so I could show you what I got in my box. But um, if you can just bear with me, sounding like Barry White's long lost twin sister who is about 40 years younger, then we're gonna go ahead and get through this unopening. Now, I actually decided to try a new service because I've heard really good things about this service and it is Wannable. I decided to try a new service called Wannable. It hadn't originally been on my list of subscription boxes that I was going to do, but I decided to give them a, a chance because I had been hearing some things about it. And just like every other subscription style service, you go online, you create a profile, you answer questions, styles, sizes, so on and so forth, things you want, things you don't want. There's a $20 fee. That fee is applied to any purchases. Usually they send between six or seven items. But if you purchase at least five of those six or seven items, then you get, of course, your styling fee as well as um, your a 25% discount. So get your styling fee regardless as long as you purchase at least one thing. But one good thing that I thought was really neat about Wannable is that they have uh, promised that anything that you have said you do not want, they will not include in your box. So if you say, don't send me any more jeans, they will... They have promised not to send you jeans, and I think that's actually kind of cool because I have told every service that I do not want cardigans out, out the gate. Do not send me more any cardigans. And lo and behold, about half the boxes I get have cardigans in them, which means that off the rip, I'm ineligible to do a whole box purchase unless I'm just purchasing that cardigan to get the whole box discount which to me is a waste of money and doesn't make sense to spend more money to get a discount. So it's kind of annoying. So we'll see if Wannable holds to their promise. Um, if we could just take a moment of silence for a few moments and pray because I ate almost everything that I saw in Vegas and I am really concerned that these clothes aren't going to fit. So whether you need to uh, say a silent prayer, burn incense, maybe sacrifice a small stuffed animal, anything you need to do to appeal to the waistband gods above that these clothes fit, because baby, I'm nervous, but we're going to go ahead and move forward and hope for the best. We're going to go on ahead and bust her open. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got. <clears throat> First thing that comes on top, living life more beautifully, a little informational packet. Oh, okay. Looks like this is the pre-return, pre-postage return package for anything that you don't want. Um comes with information about the clothes that are enclosed and how much they are. Informational, promotional flyer about what they do. And it says, your closet is going to thank you, will it? <laughs> Next thing here, we have their packaging like so many of the... Um, Styling subscription services have their own little cute packaging and everything, so let's see what's in here. Ooh, first thing I see on the top is something leather. Thank you. Wow. So cute. Mm. It might have a little bit of stretch to it, but it feels really nice. This is by the brand Blank NYC. If you watch my uh, trunk club, I had a blank NYC jacket that didn't fit. So, uh-oh. If it didn't fit then, 
It might not fit now. So we'll check it out. But Okay. So that's a striped like dolman sleeve get up. Those colors are gorgeous. Oh, and look at that hem. Oh, that's really cute. Oh boy, I like it. Oh, I'm excited. So that's three items. Still got a few more items in the box. Oh, okay, here's a top. But then it has a little ring to like belt it on the side. Okay. Oh, that's that's cute. I like that. A little dressier than what I'm used to, but it's kind of got a little extra something to it. Yes, y'all playing with chucks and chastity. <laughs> oh wow, it's a tank top. And it's almost kind of croppy. Oh, I love this. I'm excited. Oh, a skirt. I actually asked for this skirt. That brings up another thing. They have like a catalog of items that you can go through. And um, this is one of the things that I said, this might be cute. And I ordered on the catalog of items. So I'm glad they were able to send it to me. So far, no cardigans. Some jeans, but they are more of a capri length. Uh, and I don't really do capri length jeans. So, uh, I'm only five foot tall. So, <laughs> capris either look really goofy on me or they're actually just regular pants. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, get out of that box. Get out of that box, you silly girl. So this is the jacket by NYC Blank NYC. It's a black moto jacket. You can see it zips up really well. Fits in the back. It's got some pockets on it. You know, in some non-traditional places. I like the way it fits. It's got this like silky lining, so it's really comfortable. I can, hooray, hooray, I can move around in it. It's a, it's a cool jacket, I can't complain. This is a shirt by Wannable, the striped dolman sleeve. So it has kind of a dolman sleeve. It's got the crisscross stripe detail. It's okay in the back. Comes down to, to me, what is the perfect length. Um... It's a striped Doman shirt. There's nothing special about it. So, it's cute, but... Alright, so this is the top with the belted detail. Um, it's hugging my midsection pretty tightly. Uh, I liked it better in the box. It's in that really interesting material that you get from like rainbow and simply fashion and kind of those super super fast fashion places so i'm kind of surprised at the price point it feels like when i wash it it's gonna fall apart so i i definitely don't like this shirt i don't like the way it fits i don't like the way it feels i don't like the way it looks uh <laughs> i mean that's about the black ass bottom line on this one the problem with being really midsection heavy and then wearing stuff that is about this length is that it always gives me the, oh, what are you expecting look. And you know, when you're not pregnant and people ask you when your, uh, when your due date is, not the best feeling. So I try to avoid at all costs uh, wearing stuff that just kind of hugs my midsection at a certain length. There's something about this length that just accentuates this. Now, if this top was here, we'd be talking a whole different ball game. But it's down here. So now I just look like a, you know, boy, girl, twin triplets. I, I don't know. But anyway, I really want to like this top because I like these colors. I'm, I like color. But this... The length is, is the uh, drawback on this one. So, hmm. all right. So, this is the skirt by Ann Comfort. 
it's a wrap skirt, but um, you undo it. It's like a complete wrap skirt. And what I think is really cool about this skirt also is that it has pockets. Um, I honestly think this might be a little too big for me. So, so I this skirt is a keeper. I'm just going to see if I can exchange it for a smaller size because it's, it's really big. <laughs> it's super big. But um, anyway, and then here's the green blouse. Now, I do like this green blouse, but that's a problem. That extra bulk right there. Um, I have a few items. In fact, when I did the intro last night, <clears throat> my jacket I had on had an athletic band. I like athletic bands, but, you know, I just, I'm not really feeling this because it has a weird kind of shape to it. And the band is stretchy, but this is not stretchy at all. So it's kind of a weird combo. So this is the pair of uh, kind of dusty coral jeans. Um, just as I suspected, I don't like the length. I don't like the way they fit. They're kind of, this is just too much fabric down here. I got all of this fabric. They're supposed to be skinny, stretchy jeans. Got all of this fabric loose in the leg, but yet the waistband is like super tight. Like it almost has no stretch at all, which is really weird because... Waistband is usually where most women, not all, but most women uh, prefer to have a lot of their stretch. Um, I don't like the length. I don't like this baggy jean look. I don't like this extra goofiness in the front. Yeah, this is this is a hard pass. Now, if you're taller, if your legs are thicker, if your hips are bigger than mine, that'd be a nice pair of jeans for you. But they're just not the jeans for me. So there you have it, my first wantable box. Honestly, I think they did an awesome job for the first time around. Uh, out of the seven items, there were really only two items that made me say, Hell to the no, no, to the no, no, no. <laughs> Hopefully you get that reference. But uh, yeah, the other five items, there may have been issues with like, you know, maybe the feel of the fabric or the fit a little bit. But overall, the style of the items was actually pretty cool. So I'm really happy with my first Wannable box. Um, here are the prices. I'm just going to hold them up for you instead of reading them all off because, you know, I think it might be more helpful for you guys to see them. Um, so the total of the box was $478. I misspoke earlier, there's actually only a 20% discount if you buy every, uh, at least five items in the box. Um, so that puts me at $95.60 for discount. Of course, my $20 styling fee is applied. So to get the whole box, it would have been $362.40. Obviously, I won't be paying that because I didn't like everything in the box. So I'm not going to buy everything in the box. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, of the things in the box, the ones that I had considered keeping were actually the blue skirt. Um, however, the blue skirt is too big. When I went on the website to try to get a smaller size, it actually doesn't come in a smaller size. <laughs> and then we have the black moto jacket that I was kind of hemming and hawing about. But when it comes down to it, there's nothing remarkable about it. So I figure with the seasons changing, I probably will be able to find one on sale and get it. Um, however, just because that's what I'm anticipating doing, I won't find one. It won't happen. And a month from now, I'll regret that I didn't get this jacket. My bad. Um, but of all the style boxes that I have subscribed to, I feel like the Wannabo and probably Trunk Club got it the most close as far as style is concerned on the first box so i think they did a pretty good job and i'm looking forward to my next wannable box so um any comments questions suggestions or if you just want to say hello do it below in the comment section and uh thank you so much for joining chucks and chapstick for another box and opening and i will see you guys next time bye